So our autonomous future is, is here. Um, as I said, we've got 50 Teslas driving autonomously. Um, we're trying to give you a sense of what, are, what cities will be like in the future, uh, and you'll get to experience it tonight. It started an hour and two months late, but it happened. Tesla, the company that led the way in the EV revolution, is taking another leap of faith, or should I say, another leap of fear. A look into the future. You hop into a cab that has no steering wheel, no gas pedal, and no driver. Tesla CEO Elon Musk unveiling the taxi of the not-so-distant future, the Cyber Cab, at an exclusive event tonight. And that's not the only new innovation that's wowing tech lovers. Elon Musk excels at identifying trends and effectively marketing to them. And right now, AI is incredibly popular. He aims to position Tesla as a forward-thinking company that is not just an automaker, but also a technology leader. Welcome to the Wii Robot Party. Musk believes the future lies in autonomy, with the robo-taxi, or what Tesla is calling the cybercab, being the most crucial innovation. This initiative targets not only the automotive sector, but also the ride-sharing industry. However, several significant challenges need to be addressed first. Watching the event, my initial impression was, is this just another Musk rug pull? Elon Musk has built a career on pursuing what many consider impossible. From SpaceX revolutionizing the aerospace industry to Tesla challenging gasoline cars, Musk continually pushes boundaries others hesitate to cross. His vision has transformed electric vehicles from a niche concept into a mainstream success worldwide in just a decade. However, even revolutionaries must adapt. In recent years, Musk's focus has shifted from batteries to advancing autonomous technology. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more? Maybe, maybe 10 times more. He has announced that autonomous driving is Tesla's next big transformation, positioning the company at the forefront of a driverless future. If anyone could tackle the immense challenges of full self-driving, Musk believes it is him. Before the announcement made on October 10th, Tesla's market value surpassed that of industry giants like Toyota and General Motors, despite selling fewer cars. Fast money, Tesla showing some sparks of life, surging nearly 10% this week and far outpacing uh, the rest of the MAG7 stocks. The stock is up 21% in September, its best month since June of last year, and gains come ahead of Q3 delivery numbers coming next Wednesday and the highly anticipated robo-taxi reveal coming almost a week later. Tesla's shares traded at more than 80 times forward earnings, a stark contrast to NVIDIA, which trades at about 36 times, and General Motors, which trades in the mid-single digits. Clearly, expectations for Tesla couldn't be higher. Investors were really piling into the stock in the lead up to this event. As of April, Tesla shares were down more than 40% for the year. They've come all the way back from that. The promise of self-driving cars has been in the public spotlight for years. One might envision a self-driving car as a vehicle that allows you to take your hands off the wheel, relax, and even sleep while it navigates without any intervention. This is precisely what Elon Musk envisions for Tesla's new vehicles. So we want, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a safe, like it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. However, elements of this technology already exist. Tesla offers one of the best driver assistance systems available, known as Autopilot, alongside another version called Full Self-Driving, FSD. The FSD system allows drivers to make fewer moment-to-moment -moment decisions, provided they're ready to take control at any time. Most car companies have similar versions of this technology. Musk's new vision goes even further. He imagines an autonomous car that can operate independently of the owner. The, the car in the autonomous world as being like just a, a, a little lounge. You're just sitting in, in a comfortable little lounge and you can do whatever you want while you're in this comfortable little lounge. And when you get out, you will be at your destination. This concept resembles a blend of Uber and Airbnb. If you own a Tesla, it can drive you to work. But if you're on vacation, you can lend your Tesla to a shared autonomous robo-taxi fleet turning your vehicle from a depreciating asset into something potentially more valuable. Tesla designs most of the hardware and writes much of the software for its cars, enabling the ability to send over-the-air software updates, similar to how Apple updates its iPhones. 
The goal is to eventually roll out an update that turns your car into a robo-taxi. The Model 3 and Y are expected to achieve unsupervised, full self-driving capabilities, pending regulatory approval in the US and eventually abroad. For Elon Musk's vision of nationwide robo-taxis to move beyond the concept phase, several significant challenges must first be addressed. Someone is going to have to maintain these cars. I mean, these vehicles are going to need to be cleaned. They're going to need to be serviced. They're going to need to be charged. To like have a national, a car that could go anywhere at any time at like the kind of scale that Elon Musk is talking about, like this is going to be a huge and complicated problem that regulators have not even like begun to really grapple with. The autonomous rollout as quickly as possible. It's a very complex regulatory regime. We have international, federal, state, county, city, municipal regulators. We have regulators who care about consumer protection, who care about safety, who care about highway safety and, and highway management, who care about parking and city planning. There's so many different participants that that's the big equation that needs to be solved. A primary hurdle is obtaining approval from regulators who are unaccustomed to vehicles without human drivers or controls. To implement a national network of cars that can operate anywhere and at any time on the scale Musk envisions, a complex and daunting problem lies ahead, one that regulators have yet to fully engage with. Then it's standardized and uniform at the broadest scale possible, which can ensure best practices everywhere. And it's gonna be very difficult for AV companies if basically every community they're working with um, has a different form of re regulation. San Jose State Professor Ahmed Banafa says it may be a challenge, but it's still doable. And he adds these companies better be ready for continued calls for regulation across the board as AI becomes more mainstream. This year, 2024, is the year of the AI applications. And the application cannot be accepted and in the market without regulations. The regulatory framework in the United States recognizes five levels of autonomous driving, level one being the lowest and level five the highest. Currently, Tesla vehicles on the road operate at level two, which legally and ethically requires the human driver to maintain control at all times. Waymo, which originated from Google, is the company that has been leading the way in autonomous driving. They have methodically and gradually rolled out their technology in specific geographic areas, carefully mapping the terrain of the cities where they operate, a process known as geofencing. In contrast to other automakers, Tesla has opted not to utilize light detection and ranging LiDAR technology, which is a costly sensor suite that helps map the immediate environment around a vehicle. Instead, Elon Musk believes that cameras are sufficient for achieving autonomous driving. This approach has both ideological and practical implications. The high cost of LiDAR sensors could significantly impact Tesla's margins, making it financially unfeasible. Consequently, Tesla relies on cameras and software, collecting vast amounts of data from their fleet to continuously improve their artificial intelligence. Tesla argues that the real-world data it gathers provides a more robust basis for training its AI than the data collected by Waymo. Tesla does not use LiDAR. It's friggin' stupid. It's expensive and unnecessary. He says, you know, you got two eyes, there's no laser in your brain that's, that's doing this, therefore cameras should be good enough to drive a car. So there's like an ideological component, but I think it's really a practical component because Tesla is selling a consumer good. And these LiDAR sensors, like a Waymo car, would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars if you tried to build it. So Tesla can't do that because it would, it would lose a fortune. So they're using just cameras and software. However, it's worth noting that Tesla vehicles tend to focus more on freeway driving and have not been extensively tested in urban environments. The company has not disclosed how much data they have actually collected. Tesla's method of using real-world data to inform their AI's learning process is highly ambitious, but conceptually resembles how humans learn. With over 40,000 traffic fatalities in the United States annually due to speeding, distracted driving, and substance use, both Tesla and other autonomous vehicle companies face scrutiny. Tesla, in particular, has to deal with the challenge of maintaining public trust, especially given their significant market share. Numerous accidents have been attributed to Tesla drivers who mistakenly believe the car can do more than it is capable of. This has led to lawsuits and challenges for both Tesla and companies like Cruise, a GM subsidiary. Thank <laughs> you.
US regulators are opening an investigation into Tesla over its full self-driving software. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said Friday it would research 2.4 million vehicles fitted with the technology. It comes after four reports of crashes where full self-driving, or FSD, was engaged during reduced roadway visibility. It's not just about safety, it's also crucial for these companies to avoid disrupting traffic flow. So when can we expect the robo-taxi revolution to begin? We, we expect to be in production with the, the cyber cab, that, which is really um, hi highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames, um, but, but in, to, in, in 2026, so yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> Musk himself has suggested that he might be overly optimistic about timelines, but he anticipates that a fully operational system could be in place by 2026, or perhaps before 2027. While it's clear that autonomous technology has the potential to transform various aspects of life, the question remains, is 2027 a realistic timeline, or is it yet another ambitious prediction from Musk aimed at shaping the future through sheer determination? You think about why this is going over so poorly in the stock market, it's because the timelines here are so squishy. I mean, you think back to 2019 and Elon Musk said that he was going to have a million robo taxis on the road the following year. And uh, that obviously did not happen. We are in 2024. But uh, I mean, Kevin, you point out in your notes that this is sort of, you know, par for the course for Tesla and for Elon Musk specifically. Yeah, I mean, look, he there's every excuse of we don't, he doesn't make it, but he eventually gets there or whatever. And I think the issue with the the, the stock today versus competitors is that one, um, it proved that he isn't far and away ahead of anybody, if at all, um, or how far behind, uh, because those competitors have come out very recently and said like, hey, besides the science and the regulatory environment, this still has to make money someday. And we're very far away from that. And I think when you look at the event last night, he didn't answer any of those questions. If those are the three big things like, hey, is it possible uh, by when and when does it make money? We did the, the investors did, really didn't get any of those answers. Cybercab was in many ways what we expected, both good and bad. Starting with the negatives, there was minimal discussion of the business model. The details were sparse, and there was little focus on key markets like China and the United States, leaving us skeptical about their potential development. The much-anticipated $25,000 Tesla that Elon Musk promised back in 2020 was ultimately abandoned in favor of pursuing the robotaxi concept. Only time will tell if relying solely on cameras can safely operate robo-fleets on a global scale. For now, Tesla thrives on hopes and dreams, ideas that only someone like Elon Musk seems capable of selling. However, reality has a way of shattering dreams, regardless of the dreamer. To the true believers, Musk is the man who rescued astronauts from the International Space Station and successfully landed rockets on drone ships. Many thought those achievements were impossible. In Silicon Valley and beyond, there's a common saying, don't bet against Elon. Whether you love him or hate him, he undeniably has a significant impact on the world and remains quite unpredictable. He is betting the company on this technology, and it's a very risky wager. All right, guys, thank you for following so far. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future investment updates. See you in the next one. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> We'll find out. <laughs> so.